Hello there, this is Mr. TriPi, and today I'm going to give some constructive criticism on Blender 2.8 Beta's interface. So the first thing I want to say is that despite the fact that everybody makes fun of, of right-click selecting Blender, I still think left-click selection is not as good as right-click right now. Because if you're like me and you like to keep the movement gizmo up at all times, and you try to select vertices or whatever that are close to each other, you can't do that. With right click, you have this controlled by left, and you select things with right, and you can keep it separated. This problem also shows up in other programs such as Maya, where if I try to select, I'll often have problems. But I can just go and hit Q to go into selection mode, and then hit W to go back into the movement mode easily. But in Blender right now, what all we have is W to turn off the selection so you can select easily, but then you can't go back quickly just by hitting a key to go back into the movement gizmo. This is especially annoying because in the older Blender, they had the W key open up the menu that's now the right click menu. So you'll often just be working and try to open up the menu right after you switch and then turn off your gizmo. Of course, this isn't a problem after a few days and you get used to it, but still very annoying. Now, what I suggest to fix this is that you could change the W key to instead of just going to the select, and then if you hit it again, it switches between different selects. One of two options. I think my preferred option would probably be to just turn off get the gizmo, and then you can select. Or instead of turning off the gizmo viewer, you could have it switch over to the selection the first time. And then if you hit it again, it switches to back to the previous tool. And maybe if you hit like shift or alt W or something, it will then go and cycle through these. The next thing that I would like to be switched up is that when you move something or rotate or whatever, this thing, the axis, is hidden. And previously on Blender, it wouldn't be hidden. So I can move it and then look at the X here and say, oh, that's that X axis and not the Y axis because it can often be hard to tell the difference. Of course, I can often just use the axis on the grid, but not always are those visible. So it'd be nice if when I move that this is still shown, even if it's not interactive. Another thing that would be nice is if on bigger scenes, if you select something in the viewport, if it, in the hierarchy, it would automatically find it and center the selection. Because that way you could easily go and select something, automatically finds it for you, don't have to look. And then you could rename it or maybe turn off some of the settings, like make it not rendered or something. The other thing about the hierarchy is that it'd be nice if when you click something and then shift click, if it would go and select all the things in between rather than just the two things that you selected. The last thing that I think would be a great improvement is if you go and make a texture and then you paint it, that it'd be nice if it had like a big save button and maybe when you close out Blender, it would give a warning that you didn't save your texture because it can be very easy to work on a texture and I forgot that you didn't save it out to a separate file. Now you could go and pack it into the blend automatically, but then you make the blend file bigger and if you're like exporting to a game or something and already want the texture to be separated, then you're just wasting space. So that's not the, always the best option anyway. This was Mr. TriPi, and thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.